CS-183 lecture number seven. We're gonna focus on no need, no need. There's gonna be a ton of countermeasures and remember no need is the, the triumvirate of no need, no trust, no momentum. These are all things that as a founder, you're going to need to battle against. No need, no trust, no momentum. Lectures five and 11 are for when you are selling your own thing. This lecture particularly will focus on no trust and a bunch of creative countermeasures and also looking at best practices inside of the industry. I think this can be a standalone lecture uh, or in a series of 20. Sales and selling and promotion, uh, it's dirty work. Um, and not only is it dirty work, it's almost a uh, disease, uh, a thing that nobody even wants to even talk about. Everybody needs to do it, nobody needs to talk about it. This is my favorite euphemism, forward deployed engineer, forward deployed engineer, Palantir. Uh, deployment is like a consultative uh, consultant speak, which is a, a sales. Uh, forward deployed is you are proactively uh, on spec working which is a form of sales also when you're working on spec. Spec is speculation. Quote, uh, just don't call them salespeople. This is from, I wanna say CS183, the Peter Thiel lecture, lecture nine on sales distribution uh, and the forward deployed engineer is from Peter Thiel, Professor Thiel's, is he a professor? Is he a master's student in law? Anyway, forward deployed engineer, doesn't even call it a salesperson. And I guess when you're a co-founder as a VC, uh, you come up with genius ways to do sales, do selling, do promotion, but just don't even call it that. And also when you're a forward deployed engineer, are you even an engineer when you call it that? Questions that I have, but hopefully insights that you guys can use. Consulting is an entire industry that is sales and selling focused, yet they claim to do none of it. Um, and there's a hilarious TV show actually about it called House of Lies. And it's actually Emmy nominated. Um, sales, selling, and they set those words aside and they use deployment or they use project. And that's the transition that you guys can make with learning about sales and selling, yet you yourselves stay as engineers. So you don't have to completely sell out, you just need to get some of these skills and then claim that you never had them. These are ways to battle no trust. I hinted at uh, Peter Thiel's lecture number nine, uh, CS183. This is 2012. One of the things that struck me uh, about distribution is Peter Thiel's uh, matrix for does it sell itself, does it need sales, and how much sales effort do you need? So ideally, you're spending a ton of time selling something that sells itself, which is obvious, but also genius. Guest lecture, Sh 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 Shyam Sankar, Palantir BD. BD of course stands for business development. And when you call yourself business development, you are not calling yourself a salesperson, but you're developing business as a forward deployed engineer. Um, it's a euphemism, but it's a critical euphemism because if you actually Google forward deployed engineer, you can see a bunch of Palantir salesperson listings that never use the word sales that require you to be an engineer selling and promoting, which is how to battle no trust is to learn this, these sales skills inside of CS183S, specifically this lecture number seven, and then claim that you don't know sales skills or that you know every other skill that is a sales skill, but you call something else. Example, I listed out the Palantir job description on down below. That's the job description for what you need to do as your co-founding team of people that are gonna apply to an accelerator or uh, start X right there on campus or whatever, is, is a bunch of uh, sales and selling promotion uh, hack 
hacks and strategies, tips and ideas that don't involve uh, calling it sales and selling, but actually doing a bunch of it. Second supplier gambit. It's where you are not even selling to be the first supplier, you're selling yourself to be the second supplier. Thus, it's called second supplier gambit. This is one of the most genius ways to battle no trust in that you're providing customer service, service and proactive forward deployment engineer services for deployment engineering services for an intended prospect and that's what second supplier gambit is is setting aside your need to sell and forcing your way in as a deployed engineer where once you're in your likelihood of selling as an engineer is easy as uh, you've got a gaping hole of ninety thousand dollars of hot water going on a month why don't you do a heat exchanger that's what I had to do as a technical sales rep at a fortune. Persistence. What kind of ratios are okay for reaching out as a salesperson to prospect reciprocity? So some of the ratios are incredibly counterintuitive where you want to have waves and waves and waves of attempts in messaging. And it's not one to one. Let's just say that it's not one to one. It's not a thousand to one, but oftentimes it can be as high as 2000 attempts with only one success. This is the world. Uh, I'm sorry to break you this news, but that's some of the messaging ratios. How do I know these things about no trust? Which is funny because some of you may not trust me. I worked as a uh, technical uh, engineer as a sales engineer. Uh, I don't remember the euphemism that we called it, but it was basically a sales rep selling chemical for Nalco Chemical Company, where it was a, forward, a form of forward deployed engineer. And Nalco sold heating and boiler uh, products it to use for inside of water treatment. All of this is just along the lines of consultative sales and selling and as a Fortune 100 company, Nalco would pay a ton of money to send us to all these training programs. That's where Second Supplier Gambit comes from. That's where uh, consultative sales, that's where no need, no trust with the bicycle diagram came from. Another great way to battle no need is selling an invite to a very particular conference. Uh, some of these executives that you're trying to sell, they don't have time to go to every single one. And oftentimes they don't hear about the right ones to go to because these things, these conferences are ever evolving, ever changing, uh, ever promoting and under promoting. So what you need to do is you need to sell specifically uh, an, in, an insight or an industry conference that you believe is to be the cool conference that you guys are gonna be promoting at. And by selling that, you are then going to then follow up and sell them for free the PowerPoint that you did. Second supplier gambit is probably one of the best ways to battle no trust because you're offering engineering services as a second supplier uh, to the primary supplier. Now, this is teased at in lecture number seven, but it'll be expanded on greatly in lecture number 18, second supplier gambit. Homework, schoolwork, getting out of the building, as per uh, Professor Blank, getting out of the building. Sell a kitchet. Uh, kitchet is cool. They come to your house, they do uh, a three course meal for like 39 bucks. Soup to nuts, I think that includes ingredients. That's just not labor. When I say $39, what do you think? You probably think, oh my goodness, how can you do it for so cheap? Well, some of these people these founders don't sell so well, so what's the one thing they do? They start discounting the price. Discounting the price isn't really selling, it's discounting. So your homework will be to sell a kitchen for 60, 70, or 80 bucks, which is the true value of people coming to your house and cooking a dinner of three courses. Do you not agree? So sell that, and then once you sell it, buy it from kitchen. Concept of working out of the building is so helpful in popping your sales cherry, where when Steve Blank talks about getting out of the building, he talks about going outside of the bubble that you're currently in and talking to people who might be mean to you, talking to people that might reject you, talking to people that uh, could discount you 
as completely non-useful and as a salesperson. So these are things inside of this lecture, CS183S Lecture 7, and all the, the other 19 ones are meant for you to practice and promote and build your promotion muscles in a way that typically engineers don't, which is why giving this advice is so unpopular, which is why I'm doing it, you know, by my sofa, which is demeaning and the first casualty of entrepreneurship and mentorship is dignity, and I've lost a lot of that, haven't I?